So, Hildebrand has managed thus far not to destroy anything. Consider me something almost resembling impressed. <laughs> Indeed, but enough about Hildebrand. Jane and I have been waiting to hear your latest theories. We should go somewhere quiet and... An excellent idea, Miss Ellie. Ah, just that spot over there by the crates should suffice. There, of all places? But surely we could find somewhere more scenic. I am not here on vacation. I am here to solve a case. Besides, we cannot afford to have our conversation overheard. That junk-littered beach should afford us some welcome privacy. Y yes, Inspector. Privacy, indeed. Bloody hells. Don't worry, Jane. I'll figure out some way to lead him clear of the bombs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I... I think the tide is rising. We... we really should move to higher ground. Is it just me, or is there a bit of the chill in the air? But perhaps we should go someplace warm. Mm hmm. I, for one, welcome a respite from the sweltering heat. Besides, this will not take long. Uh, if you insist, Inspector. Yes. <sighs> Though the questioning of a brass blade attacked by our quarry, I identified the three individuals most likely to be our thief in disguise. To wit, Morgant, Yangto Nolto, and Luinart. The three of us shall split up, with each of us keeping watch over... Hmm. <clears throat> Are you two listening? <laughs> Oh, of course we are. M big pardon, Inspector. Huh? You look unwell, Miss Ellie. Perhaps you are right. I, too, feel a chill wind blowing in. Mayhaps we should continue our conversation elsewhere. Ah, but there is no need. Wait here. I shall build us a fire. Ha 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 ha! Methinks the inspector has taken leave of his senses. The chances of locating suitable kindling on these barren shores is infinitesimal. Oh, yay! Here, here we are. Uh, this piece of driftwood should suit perfectly. Now, as fortune would have it, I just happen to have flint and stone on my person. Oh. oh, yay! Hmm. There is no cause for alarm. Tis not blood that courses through the inspector's veins, but ice. I could not fathom a series of events that would lead such a calm and composed individual to lose his firm grip on that fiery torch. Remarkable insight, Inspector. I must record these words for posterity. Whee! It's flying! Hmm. What? Have we here? Yes, everything is proceeding according to my master plan. Uh -huh. mm. Could this be another challenge from the fiend? Uh... 
Surely you jest, Inspector. It looks nothing like his usual card, see? Doubtless it's just the idle ravings of some madman. Mm-hmm. Perhaps so, but we must exercise due caution. Ah, there are two more pages. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Give up hope, ye of many faces, will have a laugh last. It is not the Lapis Maiden alone that shall come to harm. It is more direct than his previous messages, but there can be no doubt as to the sender. But what is this talk of another victim? The final page holds the answers, no doubt. Uh, the final page? Uh, hmm. Confounding Inspector Briartine will meet a fiery demise. Oh. Oh. You, you saw through that fiend's ruse, but how? Uh, l let's just call it a reporter's intuition. Are you hurt? A ringing in my ears, but otherwise no worse for wear. You, you have my gratitude. Hildebrand Mandeville, were you able to learn aught of the fiend who made this ignoble attempt on my life? I, uh, I, 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 I exhausted every effort, Inspector. Yet I fear our quarry proves ever elusive. Excellent. I might have died of shock if you had. At any rate, our foe has revealed himself as no mere thief, but a madman who will resort to cold blooded murder. We must redouble our vengeance, vigilance, lest the others come to harm. Uh, vigilance? Y yes. Vigilance is the order of the day. Yes. 
What in the name of the gods? Thor's teeth, those vegetables cost a fortune, and they're ruined. Ruined. Agent of inquiry, more like agent of injury and incompetence. You are to replace the, the supplies that you destroyed before the banquet begins, or I will see the entire lot of you rot in jail. Clearly, our thief has decided that my prodigious intellect presents the greatest threat to his schemes. Perhaps he is a more clever man than I thought. I would have asked how he survived an explosion at point-blank range, but something tells me that's one more mystery better left unsolved. Thanks to your quick thinking, the bombs are no more, and the inspector is none the wiser. Tis a shame to see good food go to waste, though. Those coconuts looked positively luscious. Is that a fish? I'm getting hungry. Me too, my friend. Me too. was that terrible explosion coming from the beach. Is everyone safe? Fear not, the fiend's artless attempt on my life has been thwarted. Sadly, your food supply did not escape unscathed. Master Goku Rimu bids that the damaged ingredients be replaced with all speed. G -g god good gods, this is no thief, this is a madman. As for replacing the ingredients, I fear that will prove a difficult task. Those crates contain imported vegetables of considerable rarity, you see. Vegetables that are in particularly short supply these days. What with all the mandragoras at large, even if I were to place an order immediately, it would likely take days to arrive. The mandragoras? I've heard of that fell band. Tell me, what manner of vegetables did they steal? The rarest was an import from the Far East. I do not recall the name, but it very closely resembled the Eorzean dragon pepper, save for its color, which was a deep purple. Methinks you dost worry too much, Master Luanart. Our course of action is clear. We need only storm into the den of these overgrown weeds and steal your precious purple dragon peppers right back. I would advise against that, Inspector. These are no ordinary mangragoras, but rather a bloodthirsty band of killer given to succulent fish. Even the brass blades of the Gerbera proved unable to resist them. <laughs> Oh, a formidable foe indeed. Were only there a brave soul in our midst with a walt for taking on fearsome enemies with not a shred of concern for her own well-being? Your eyes, friend, they speak to me. They say, I, yes, I shall vanquish these rogue vegetables and deliver their purloined goods back to their rightful owner. Mm -hmm. You are truly a godsend, adventurer. One sword mall of the Yellow Jackets has been charged with defending the roads from the Mangoras. If anyone would have knowledge of their current whereabouts, it would be him. Without those ingredients, Master Gugurimo is like to cook me instead. Please, friend, you are my only hope. A gentleman would never let a lady face danger alone. Let us away to Lemsa together!
Now, Luinart explains that among the foodstuffs lost in the explosion were rare imported vegetables that could not possibly be ordered in time for the feast. Hildebrand, ever quick to act, suggests that the only logical recourse is to reclaim the initial lost shipment from the clutches of the Mangrogoras, and goes one step further by boldly volunteering you for the task. Seek out a yellow jacket by the name of Sundhamal at the Limps of Laments in Lower Decks that you might track down the lair of this brand of bloodthirsty floor of freedom fighters. If you've come for the Mandragoras, I fear you're a half a bell too late. As were we blasted all. To hear the poor merchant tell us, no sooner had he opened his cargo to check on a shipment of vegetables than did an onion turn on him, screeching bloody murder. Fled his own vessel in sheer terror, he did by the time he came to his senses. It had set sail without him. The merchant left for airport, hoping to recoup his losses. If you've a mind to go after the culprits, you might lend an ear to his sad tale. Ah! This is the battle of the chase, not invigorating, friend. The ferry docked by Fisherman's Bottom will carry us to Aleport. Let us be swiftly on our way. All right, off to Aleport. I don't need to take a ferry. I can just teleport. Totally fine. <laughs> 